So the first main part that I'm going to be going over here is the motherboard, as you can see laying down right here. Now, this motherboard has a lot of devices on it, or a lot of objects that look like they have slots. Uh, you can see it from all the different angles. The board is actually pretty skinny. Uh, right now, as you can tell, it's a little bit dusty. Uh, the reason for that is this is an old motherboard I pulled out just to kind of show you guys how this device is used and then show you how to build it. Now, what you're going to see on this device is these right here are PCI slots. These are old slots that you're not going to see mainly on new motherboards. Uh, they're slowly being outdated for PCI Express uh, 1 slots, which is this right here. Uh, you can kind of tell the difference by the length of it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting here. But as you, if you look right here, there's a length. Now the next thing you have is this object right here. This is usually what's used for the new graphics cards. This is called a PCI Express 16 slot. I have two of these. Uh, the reason for two of these in this case would be for the graphics card. Say if you had SLI, uh, which is NVIDIA, or if you had ATI, which is cr uses Crossfire. Uh, you can set them both here and sync them. Now, with this board, since it's a little bit older, I had to actually have a chip for it. So this one actually comes with different chips. This one allows me normal mode or SLI mode. Currently, as right now, as it says, SLI mode. So this chip right here allows uh, SLI mode to be activated, so two NVIDIA cards to be running. If I want to change that out, I can always change it out with this card. This, use, this allows generic. Now, I went over these slots right here, but the next thing you're going to need to notice is that there's a lot of things right down here. Uh, can't kind of hard to tell, but there's actually these little nice little pegs. Now these pegs right here. Oop, sorry, the thing's not actually focusing for it. There you go. So as you can see, these little pegs right here. These are allow you to do your power. Um, it allows you to turn on, reset it, uh, plug in extra devices. Uh, over here you have your SATA slots. Uh, this is actually the first generation of SATA, if I remember right. So this is only going at 3 gigabits per second. The newest generation is all the way up to 6 or 8. Uh, next thing you have these extra slots. And the reason why I'm not actually pointing out what these slots are is because you actually figure out these slots whenever you have the hammock. And these slots are all used for your case. Your case might have different devices on it. As you can see, this one comes with this. Um, the devices in it that you can find. See if this one has a nice little screenshot of it. There you go. So it points out what everything is for you. Uh, there's actually a better view of one of these. Let's see if I can find it real quick. There we go. So, you can tell right here, it tells me actually the power of how the slot goes in. And I can go into more detail whenever we're building the computer. But I would first like to show you this. So, you have your IDE slots. Uh, these are actually outdated now. You're not going to see those anymore, pretty much. Floppy. Uh, this is your power to your motherboard. Uh, this one is actually a 22. Sorry, this is a 24 slot actual board. Uh, you can get 20 or 24. I think all the new standard is 24 now for you. Uh, next thing you see right here, this little kind of plated thing. I actually left the CPU in here. Uh, the reason why that is, is this is out outdated. I would not recommend using this computer anymore, uh, other than to show. And the device is actually pretty hard planted in there. It's been in there for a while here. If I can, there we go. Popped it. Doop. And this is actually your CPU. I didn't show that in the previous of the overview, mainly because it was kind of stuck in here and I didn't want to use it. And you see they have little pegs at the end. You see the open slots. You had to make sure that you line that up with the board. You can kind of tell where the slots are on that. And so let me just make sure I put that back in here correctly. And this is called thermal paste that I actually have on my thumb. Thermal paste actually goes between that and your actual cooling fan, which goes on top. It would be sit on top like that for you. And when it says on top like that, it actually helps with the heat sink. It's which that big metal device is. So let's put this back down. And that would be the CPU. Next thing you have these big long sticks right here. Uh, as you can tell I have dust in them. That's not a good sign. Uh, these big long little sticks right here actually are for the RAM which you can find right here. And RAM come in different sizes so you have to make sure you have the right RAM for the right board. Same thing for the CPU. Make sure you have the right socket. In this case this one shows a socket 939 uh, which is this allows for that device. This RAM is a different uh, this is DDR1. I think it's only I uh, don't remember the hertz on it. Sorry, this is DDR2. It's at 800. So it's not that big. It's only a 1 gig stick. I have two of these uh, actually located here. As you can tell. 
Um, the final thing is, uh, depending on your board, you might come with uh, these little things right here. This allows extenders or help you point out what you need to plug in. Uh, they're little adapters at the same time. And once you slide your computer in, you have these uh, nice peripherals. Oop, there we go. And as you can see right here, these are your peripherals. I have two audios. Uh, this would be a P uh, keyboard PS2, a mouse PS2, you have your local NIC, which is a LAN, uh, Cat 5e, I believe this one is. You have your USBs, this one only has four. This is actually a serial port, uh, a lot of people don't know that. This is a printer port. Uh, then you have your sound right here. And this one doesn't have a lot of peripherals or anything nice on it, it's just kind of there. It's an older computer, and this board's probably, I'll say a good... Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching.